Hello! What are we doing today? Yeah, buddy! All right, so I'm heading out to go get Kyle to go to the show. We're going to a pre-party at the uh, Tacoma Dome. Apparently there's beer tasting and Iron Maiden swag. Gonna put on some Iron Maiden to listen to. I know, CDs, right? Who has CDs anymore? Well, I do, so. Peter picked me up, got in the car. We're going to the Trooper pre-party. To explain that just briefly. Uh, Robinson Brewing, who brews the Trooper and six, six, Brew 666, are throwing a pre-party. Nice. No band members, nothing, but beer and food. You never know. You never know? You never That's know. why I bought it. There's a raffle, too, apparently, that I just found out. Yeah, about. giving up some swag. Could, it's some kind of... But we get free swag anyway, Some right? stuff signed by the band. But we get free swag anyway, right? Well, like it's not free. <laughs> well, it wasn't free, but... As a part of your entrance into the party. Yeah, let's move. Got the car, got on the freeway, we're moving pretty good. We've hit a slight snag in our plan to get to the Iron Maiden show. We hit Fife, shitty Tacoma traffic kicked in. But as you can see, there's a little bit of a problem here. There's a bit of traffic. But the problem starts with a T and ends in Oma. Our venue for the evening, Tacoma Dome. We didn't take a look at the tickets. Let's look at these fancy spans. Issue to Janet Fletcher. Whoops. You're, you don't look like a Janet. Well, your hair is getting kind of long, so. Those Got my drink tickets. tickets. So, what does the pink represent? She told us. Now, what is it? Booze. Pink equals drink. drink. A laminate, like we're something important or something yeah, like that. Yeah, I, I got a so, backpack. Let's see what else do we get? You want to see our bag of swag? You got free swag. Let's see. Backpack. Okay. Sure. Official. Book of Souls. Yep. Come on now. Come on now. There we go. Official Book of Souls tour t shirt. What else do we get? A banner. A banner. A flag. A, flag. A, a small cup. A small cup. Okay. I'm not sure what that is. Koozie. Oh, well, that's important. That's good there stuff. There you go. Now that's some good stuff. That's stuff I can use. Then the bar mat. I don't want to take it out because I'm not going to be able to get it back in here. Fine. But the whole thing came in a nice trooper bag, yeah. Exactly. Show that there, please. See what that looks like. All right. I'm dropping Losing stuff, stuff again. Down. There it goes. Perfect. Stoked. All right, we're stoked. I need a beer. It's nice to see a lot of metal heads. Go, Kyle. It is. Look. I know, look at that. It's like rows of them. You kind of only see that at these types of shows anyway. They kind of come out of the woodwork. Where are these people when there isn't an Iron Maiden show? Working. Wow. <laughs> we met some interesting people. My name is David Strauss, and I've been a fan for uh, ever since I was 15. How old are you now? I am uh, 45. I've been waiting 30 years to see this concert. Show them the tickets. I got tickets from Utah that I never got years. to see. Yeah. He's got three tickets for Utah that he never was able to use because oh. he couldn't get a ride there and his car broke down. Oh, oh. Man. Uh, I was 15, they actually came to Portland, Oregon, and I missed them by a day. What about all that time in between? You got plenty of chances to see the main. There was a lot of time in between where he lived in his car. I was oh, okay. Brother. Yeah. Well, that's a problem. <laughs> Plus, I was married twice, so. <laughs> that's yeah. also a Child problem when it comes to Child support payments, all kinds of shit. <laughs> so, uh, and you are? I'm his brother, James. Okay, and you, have you seen and Maiden before? I've never seen Iron Maiden before. Never. It's my first time. Those guys this guy was chiming in. Yes. Have you seen I've Maiden? I've seen him ten times. times? Ten? Ten times. When's the first tour? Uh, Peace of My Tour. Back nice. in Germany. I was in Germany at that time. Favorite Iron Maiden song? Hallowed Be Thy Name. Man, he didn't even hesitate. Nope. It's like, didn't even have to think about it? Somebody asked me that, it's like... 
Next one would be Power Slave. Mm. The song Power or the Slave. whole album? Because for me, that's... Uh, oh, I like all the albums. You know, I'm here to support my brother. I love that. We're glad to be here because Iron Maiden fans fucking rock. Uh, they had a drink called the Ed Force One. That's the name of a maiden's plane and all. And I thought, oh, why not? It had some kind of some kind of a uh, whiskey. I can't remember. It's not Jack Dan. Uh, you know, an extra amount of Jameson and some other nonsense in it. I thought, oh, I'll try it. It was ten bucks. So I gave him the ten bucks, and she it was the the whiskey was white. It was clear. I go, is that tequila? Oh no, this is. Uh, whiskey Blanc or something. I don't know what the fuck it was. So she put like three shots in there. And then she proceeded to pour every kind of sweet mixture. I think there was grenadine in there. I think it was, uh, you know, the sugar. What, what's the, the sugar mixture they make? He took one drink of it. Gross. It was, yeah, it was nasty. So I drank it. So far, this is all we got at the pre-party. Some free beer. Oh, you got and two. <laughs> I did. Why not? Am I coming back? I'm not coming back. I got both of my drinks at once. I got Iron Maiden meatballs. Iron Maiden meatballs. How are the Iron Maiden balls? Not too bad. Pretty good? I'm gonna go grab some. My name's Shirley Driggers. I'm the drummer to the Bad Assets. We met this couple. Well, no, they weren't a couple. Sorry. They made it very clear that they were not a couple. It was a very strange thing. Bad Assets. The Bad Assets. I'm Rick, I'm the bassist for the Bad Assets. Bad Ass! Bad Assets, yeah. Alright, Bad Assets. <laughs> and then that's uh, going with our name on it. Alright. What's the website? Uh, let's see. Bad Assets at Reverb Nation. Okay. Slash, backslash Facebook. Reverb Nation. Talk, we're on Reverb Nation. Yeah, we're, we're on Facebook. Yeah. Yeah. Alright. We also are on Facebook as the Bad Assets. So, so where are you guys located and where do you play around now? We are located out of uh, Yelm, Yelm Rainier. Yelm? Yelm area, I guess. Okay. And we play mostly Rainier, Yelm, Spanaway, Olympia. Okay. And we're trying to expand out further, but we're just going to stick with our home home area for a, for a while until we get a good good fan base, and then we'll move. Where are we playing in Spokane? Oh, we're going to be playing in Spokane in July. Awesome. We're not sure yet where yet. Uh, and you're we huge might Iron Maiden the... fans, clearly. Uh, yes. That's cool. <laughs> From Alaska, that's great. Different Fairbanks, right on. I live the life. Who gave you these things? Santa Claus. That guy over there looks loaded. What? The view from here, everybody. We're in our seats. Kyle's still drinking his trooper beer. Is that yeah. what we're having? My $9.50 tripper beer. $99. $9.50. Close to $99. Oh. Wait, you paid how much to get into that pre party? $50. $50? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> $50 to get in the For the thing. two of us. And then you <laughs> And then you paid another 950 for that beer. Oh, I paid $10 for an Ed Force 1. Oh, that's right. The Ed Force uh, There was a lot of booze sour in there, but you could not taste drink. it. No. I'm feeling all right, but I got to work tomorrow, so okay, this so is the I'm last one. Big Iron Maiden fan or what? Yeah. Yeah. I have you know, I haven't seen him in 28 years, I guess, but... Uh, when did you see him last? I saw him in 80... What two? two. What two? Uh, Number of the Beast. Oh, you're yeah, the earliest, you're right the earliest we've met so far. So are, you, done. are you from around here? Well done. Uh, I'm actually from uh, Pennsylvania, so but I, I saw him in Landover, Maryland with Judas Priest. He saw them open up for Judas Priest for on the Screaming for Vengeance tour. Nice! They, they opened up for Killing Judas Priest. Me. Nice! Oh, that would have been awesome. That, so, that what did you say, 82? 82? That would have been Screaming for Vengeance. Yeah. Dude! Vengeance, and that would have been, uh... So nine jealous. Nine dollars and ninety-nine cents. So for my jealous. Ticket. I would have paid a hundred dollars. Six, six, six upside down. That. Right. But then he hadn't seen him since or something? Yeah, because he's married. They go, oh, you got out of the house. No, I'm divorced now, and my kids are going up, so now I can come see the concert. That's nine, amazing. Nine, $9.99 for the ticket. That's six, That's six, 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 upside down. That's funny. It is amazing. <laughs> I never thought about that, but it is, yeah. I never thought about that. That's, That's the first thing I thought of. That's upside down masking. That's upside down masking. Kyle is on top of the Iron Maiden. 
okay, I tried to go to the bathroom, but there was like 50 million people in line, so gonna I'm gonna have to hold it. You're gonna go out during the 18 minutes up? Yeah. I'm trying to think. See, this is why I look at the set list so I know what song I can go and be in. <laughs> Names. Shay. Shay. Okay. Shanene. The chef. There was these two ladies sitting next to us in our seats. Shanene. Shay and Shanene. I'm afraid. I knew I turned back. You're what? I'm scared. Why? I'm scared about your meeting. <laughs> Why? Not really. No, I love them. They're you really do? good. Yes. Oh show man, I think we need to go that way down the street, right? Let's go this way. By this way. And we're gonna have to come back. I'm not sure I wanna go to big arena style shows anymore. I, I think what it is, is I've been going to so many local shows and just going standing right at the stage, almost at the same level as the people and watching it, and I just prefer to watch live music that way now. When I have to sit so far away and watch a screen when the people are right there, and I, I you know, I just, I'm not, I'm not big. I need to be there. We stood up in the seats anyway. I would have rather standing down there where I can see them. I don't want to do that either, though. But they're not moshing down there. I don't I care. I don't want to get squished in with all those people. That doesn't do anything for me. Okay. This is where we came in over Kyle's here. got a bright idea about going this way. I do. I don't know that it's faster. We're gonna try. Here we go. The sea of Iron Maiden fans. As the night comes to a close, another episode of the Hit Chasers comes to an end.